Good morning guys, happy spring break. Technically today is the first day of spring break, it is Friday. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I get ready for spring break. So pampering myself, packing, stressing because I have so much to do and there's like no time to do it all. Um, yeah, mainly that one. <laughs> right now I'm going to head out the door. I'm gonna go to the Waterford Lakes area and check out TJ Maxx Forever 21. I need to go to Ulta, maybe Sephora. Then I have an ortho appointment and then I have a facial appointment. all my Waterford Lake errands but I'm gonna probably go back over there because my facial is like near Boston Coffee House or what was Boston Coffee House. It's currently 1237 my ortho appointments at 1240. Um, like I said I have to get another button put on because it like snapped in my sleep while my rubber bands were on. I didn't even think you could like get rubber bands with Invisalign and or like invisible trays but I guess you can. Hey guys, so we are at Spa Bar. This is Molly Mann. Hi. She is like the only one that I like will book with here. Well, I haven't really tried anyone else, but she was so good the first time that I was like, I can't. Like, she's so good and she explains everything so well to me. Mm -hmm. And so, what am I getting done today? Micro we are gonna do a microdermabrasion today. Okay. Do lots of extractions and really rehydrate the skin and just kind of bring it back to balance. Yeah, because I'm get like, I've noticed that I'm breaking out a lot on my period. Oh, yeah. Hormonal oh, breakouts. Yeah. I've break yeah. so never normal. done that before, but like mm -hmm. the past three months, like it's always on my period. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, and I just had it, so it was like perfect time to get a facial. <laughs> We're gonna get started now. Yay! Scary mask. Yeah, seriously. So this is high frequency. This helps to kill bacteria on the skin after extraction. This also helps to calm inflammation that's on the skin also. So since we just did some extractions to get all the gunk out, this will just kind of close everything up and make sure bacteria doesn't spread around. So this is microdermabrasion with a diamond tip. You can see how it's kind of starting to exfoliate oh, the skin yeah, a little I've bit Oh yeah, I've never there. seen that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it kind of flakes it up a little bit. Oh. This helps with large pores. This helps with texture on the skin. It's great for pigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles. It really does it all. Just really gives the skin like a very deep exfoliation. Mm -hmm. So we are about to do a lymphatic drainage massage and I just asked her what it is because so many people have been talking about it so she's going to explain to you guys what it is because like I, I didn't even know so. So basically what lymphatic drainage is, um, it is draining the lymph waste out of your lymph nodes. So the easiest way to do this, which you can actually do at home, is to hit certain pressure points on your face and start to drain them out. So basically what they do, some on the forehead, you can feel the indents here mm -hmm. and you can press into it to activate that node, that point there. Mm -hmm. So it helps the lymph kind of drain out mm -hmm. and that helps with kind of detoxing the skin, helps with puffiness, helps with just your skin looking a little bit more lively. Mm -hmm. So you kind of hit those points and then you do this to drain. Mm -hmm. And when you drain, you always want to have a nice light touch to it. That way it doesn't push it too much and you're not just moving the muscle. You want to actually make sure you're moving the lymph. Mm -hmm. I always do this a couple times just to make sure you hit it. This is also good with, for like headaches and people who have sinus pressure. This will help to relieve that too. So right now we're gonna do a sebum clearing mask right in the T-zone. This just helps with excess oil, blackheads, just to kind of close your pores out a little bit, and it just helps with excess gunk. Is it, is sebum, is that what, it's like, oil. and that's what was under all of those deep white heads that yeah. I had, right? Yep. So we are done with my facial. My skin feels so soft. I had like a pimple over here, it's gone. Like she extracted that shit out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. 
but my I've been to you like four times mm -hmm. I think four to five times and she has transformed my skin like yeah. I'm gonna try to find a picture of um what did I have what just white has black you has had congestion but it was very deep congestion okay. so it definitely was more of a challenge to get rid of yeah so so I had to come back like a couple times but mm -hmm. like over time like it's just gone like yeah. it's insane it's pretty great so she transformed my skin so if you guys are in the Orlando area please come to spa bar book with Molly Mann because she's amazing I'm here with Sam, and I'm here with Tiff, and Charlotte's over there. <laughs> Look at your makeup, so pretty. I'm doing Sam and Tiff's grad picks, and I, she is a grad graduate student. Yeah, like. so I'm like a master's student, so I'm in grad school, but I'm graduating again, so I'm doing pictures again. Yes. Because why not? Yes, it's why not? It's so fun. It's, yeah, it's like, you gotta do it. If yeah. you're graduating, it's like And you're still to. here, so I'd rather do it yeah. while you're still here than like try and find someone else to do it. Right, and then Tiff is going to come along. They're doing a double session, mm -hmm. so should be super fun. Hopefully I'll get a lot of footage, but like, I don't know, sometimes I'm like super preoccupied, but... Mm -hmm. We'll see what it gets. Yes. So we came into the stadium. Usually we can't get on the field though, so we just did it on the steps, which was totally fine. They turned out so cute. The lighting is actually perfect, so pumped about that. We're going to the boardwalk, my favorite location for shoots. And Kaylin's here with her new puppies. Ah! Hello. Hi, purples. Put them on the cap of Hi, purples. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're like so just, like calm. Oh, they're so exactly. That's what you were they're saying. So they're cute. really calm puppies. So Hi, cutie Seriously, poop. they're like so calm. It's unbelievable. Right, so cute. You. <gasps> you happy? Are you in dog heaven right now? Yes. Are you excited about your new yes. puppies? Yes. Are you excited, so Jake? Excited. <laughs> So cute. They're, they're so angels. Oh Why gosh. are they so calm? I know, they're really good. Alright, I have to go get my medicine. They'll be good until we get them in the cars. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, so like, you can pick them in double. Aww. As long as you're, you're, as long as you're with them. They're so cute. So the grad shoot just ended. We saw Kaylin's puppies for the first time ever. And so now cute. we're going to get three natives. Aussie Eagles. I got the bird with all bananas. I got the Estes. So as you can probably tell from the good lighting, I am going to be filming right now. I'm going to do a try on haul and then tomorrow I'm going to get all ready and then film like the intro and outro um, because I have two try on hauls. I have a spring break haul and then Forever 21 haul um, and the Forever 21 haul is more athletic stuff and like leisure but there's like a few spring break items but I thought I would separate them because one to have more content two because my spring break haul is like literally insane already it's probably gonna be so long I'm gonna try really hard to wake up really really early tomorrow and shower do my hair do my makeup and then film a little bit and then I still have to pack so that's why I'm trying to get all this um try on stuff done so I can like start packing it's okay guys I know I'm a little insane I know it I know it Good morning guys, happy Saturday. It is 11.30 and technically I get kicked out of the sorority house at 12 and I still have so much packing to do. I actually just filmed some intros and outros for two different hauls. I have a Forever 21 haul and a Spring Break haul and I had to get that done before I left just in case I like wanted to edit the Spring Break haul, which I do, but like hopefully I'll have time. Today we are going to continue the pampering. I'm going to get my nails done because they are much needed. They are so grown out and I had to pick the bottoms because they were like coming up and like getting caught in my hair which was so annoying so I just had to pick them off and I was like you know what I have to wait till spring break um and I'm thinking of probably getting dip powder on my nails and gel on my toes because I don't know I just don't want to be like in the sand and the gel come peeling off because that like literally always happens to me um and then I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done um I go to Venus Threading and I go to my girl Layla I just called and asked if she was there and she's there all day so we're set for that so this is the situation right now it's a little bit better from yesterday but I mean still pretty bad I still have some laundry in the dryer so I need to get that and fold it um I actually have to bring two suitcases if I didn't already tell you guys one for my cruise and then this one is going to be for when Ryan comes he's coming on the day I get back from my cruise and I won't be able to get into Katie and get my stuff and like repack so just gonna pack like another suitcase filled with clothes and then 
all my toiletries are going to go in my base bag from Shea Mitchell's line. I'm pretty sure that one is called the Weekender bag um, and I can show you more about it because it's really cool. Um, by the minute and I'm so pumped because I'm just so close it is currently 1205 so I'm really trying to book it out of here but I wanted to quickly show you the base bag the weekender this is how large it is I honestly thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller but I'm happy it's this big because it fits so much stuff um, and I feel like I've never had like a weekender bag I just always had like random bags that I would use the bottom is like a shoe holder so I have like all my shoes in it right now I don't really want to open it up all the way because I had to really stuff it in obviously you can put other stuff in it probably clothes if you wanted to but it's just a really good place to put your shoes in so I have like about four or three pairs in there when you zip it up it's kind of like this triangle shape but then you can like open it up and then it becomes like almost like a rectangle box kind of thing it has a compartment for your laptop so it's kind of like foam right there um, then it has like a zipper pocket for other stuff sometimes I just put like toiletries in there because sometimes I use this for my jib bag and then you could just really put whatever you want in here like I said this is Shay Mitchell's line I got her backpack and her makeup bag because I'm just obsessed with her and I have to support who I love but also like these are super cool and I haven't bought a new backpack since like sophomore year of high school so I was like mm, maybe it's time it's a little crazy up in here but this is the makeup bag so it has like a little mirror it says base in there um, and then they have like a brush section and then it's this big pouch and then on the corners it has like little pockets um, and over here as well so it definitely makes it a little bit more organized still looks like a mosh pit but you know better than nothing and then this is actually the backpack which I know it looks really funky but it actually opens up all the way so you zip it up like that I actually use this as my camera bag I like to fit all my lens wipes in here I put like my batteries in the first pocket it's a big old bag of batteries I have way more too. <laughs> and then on the back, you can fit in your laptop there. So I packed up the car. I have everything in here for my spring break and then when Ryan comes. And then I also have like a backpack of photography stuff because when I drop Ryan to go home to Atlanta, I have a sunrise shoot like right after that so got to be prepared for everything right now I'm gonna head into T-Mobile because I am switching to that my dad just sent me a sim card in the mail so I'm gonna get that all figured out I used to have Sprint for a while and then not even six months ago like right before I went to Italy this summer I switched to AT&T and now we're switching to T-Mobile so I'm getting a little taste of everything So I'm here with Megan. We are about to get our eyebrows done. We go to the same person, Layla. She's yeah. the best. This is the before. Yes. Before. <laughs> you can't really even tell. I um, I literally brought my brow pencil with me because I always forget that she like smudges she it. it. Yeah. She, she That's really... why I try to go with no makeup on because I don't want her to think that. Uh, yeah. No, I but... agree. But... Hi guys, my name is Layla. Yes. <laughs> She's my eyebrow lady since like for three years now, right? Yeah. Something like that. So now that our eyebrows are on fleek, fleek by Layla, that's what she should call her store, honestly, but <laughs> um, we are going to get our nails done. I've never been to this place where, I don't even know where we are. We really literally left we're the in country. <laughs> we left the country, <laughs> but Megan's been here before and she says it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, and I never like have a nail person. Like mm -hmm. that's just not something I super care about. I don't have a specific person here, but honestly I should, but I don't. Yeah. So I feel like it's good to have a person, but... No, for sure. This place is called Spa Renity Nail Lounge, and I'm pretty sure it's Oviedo. I just saw a sign for Yeah, Oviedo. I don't know. I really don't know where Anyways, we're. it was it was not super close to campus, but it's still pretty close. I think I'm going to get, like, a neutral, like, white, I'm doing pinkish. White. Yeah. Like, off-white, maybe. But... Yeah, because I like my toes, how they're, like, white, mm -hmm. but, like, not, like, white, white, mm -hmm. you know? It matches I mean? everything, too, mm -hmm. so. So, I'm going to get dip on my nails, and then gel on my toes, and then she's going to do... Gel on my nails, and then just regular polish, probably, for my toes. Cool. 
currently picking our colors and I told I asked the lady like what um, color here matches like my toes and she was like oh gee is that like uh, what's it called funny bunny yeah and I was like kind of because like at Avenue it's called white bunny but it's just like, a knockoff so I'm excited to actually get the real thing you know the real OBI this place is so nice. It's so it? freaking pretty. Look it's at so that pretty. Here. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's bougie. I like it. So we're ending the pampering day with Fresh Kitchen. I'm here with Charlotte and Megan, and my bowl is currently being made. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see some of my spring break adventures. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!